Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood, Oxhorn, and I'm here today with a video on raider outposts and specifically how to decrease the number of raiders that you get swarming your raider outposts. This has never been a problem for me. I actually really enjoy large settlements and large raider outposts, but one of the number one questions that I get on my channel is from people who are just absolutely tired of all of the raiders showing up to their raider outposts. They want to know how they can reduce the number of raiders that show up. Uh, aside from role-playing purposes, there are a number of great reasons to have smaller settlements, including uh, your FPS. The smaller your settlement, the greater FPS you're going to enjoy in town and uh, the less hassle they're going to be. It's also much easier to keep your happiness higher if your settlement has a lower population. So there are good reasons for doing so, and we're going to go over really quickly how to make sure your settlement doesn't grow too large. And to do that, we've got to look at the code. So here we are in the DLC 04 Workshop Parent Script. This is the script that came with Nuka World that controls many of the functions of Raider Workshops, that is Raider Outposts. We see here under the recru recruiting NPC stuff that the max surplus NPCs is five. And this is explained for us here. It says, this is the max number of unassigned NPCs you can have in a settlement. If you have this many or more, no new NPCs will arrive. So this gives us to, uh, an answer to our question right away. If you want to make sure that you stop attracting raiders, make sure that at least five of them are unassigned. Now, we see that the base max settlers, or raiders, that you can have at your settlement uh, runs along the same lines as regular settlements. It says that you can have ten, but note that it is modified by the Get Max Workshop NPCs formula, which is modified by Charisma. So, if you have high Charisma, simply add your Charisma to this number 10 to get the total number of settlers, or raiders in this case, that can be at your raider outpost. So if you have 10 charisma, 20 is your max. This line explains to us how raiders are attracted. The I max bonus attract chance population equals five. And this means that if you have fewer than five NPCs or raiders at your settlement, then you have a 100% chance of recruiting a settler. And I'll get to show that in a minute. Now let's talk a little bit about happiness because the higher your raider outpost happiness is, the more settlers you're going to get. So the minimum happiness for a raider settlement is 30. Let's read the note here. This is the minimum happiness required for a raider population increase. Also is the minimum happiness for the caps modifier. So if I'm reading this correctly, if your happiness is less than 30, then you will get no more raiders. This is the minimum happiness for raider population increase, which means that if it's less than this happiness, you're not gonna be getting any new raiders. If it's more than this happiness, then a bunch of other things go into consideration, including how many raiders you currently have, if they're unassigned or not. This one comes in handy. This is the Raider Farming Happiness Penalty. It's minus three times your food production to get the happiness penalty. So if your raiders are producing 10 food, that means you're getting a, a hit to minus 30 on your happiness. And here is the actual application of the happiness penalty, which is calculated each day, the total happiness penalty equals food production times raider farm happiness penalty, which as we saw earlier is negative three. Since each raider can generate six food, let's say you have two raiders farming that generates 12 food and you multiply that times three, that's 36. You get a negative 36 happiness just for having two raiders farming. And here's the actual code for attracting new NPCs uh, using the variables that we found above. If the total population is less than the max workshop NPCs, which is 10 modified by your charisma, and if the current settlement happiness is greater than or equal to the raider population minimum happiness, which is 30, then use the following formula to attract a raider. Take the daily attract NPC chance, which I believe was 0.1, 
plus your current happiness divided by 100 times your attract NPC happiness multiplier. Here we've got the attract NPC daily chance, which is 0.1, and the happiness multiplier is 0.5. So let's use some phony numbers to actually do the math here. Let's say our current happiness is 80. So let's take 80 and divide it by 100. That gives us 0 0.8. Let's add that to the attract NPC daily chance, which was 0 0.1. That brings us up to 0 0.9. Then let's multiply that times the attract NPC happiness multiplier, which was 0 0.5. So times 0 0.5. Well, that gives us, well, according to this math, a 0.45 or a 45% chance to attract an NPC every day if you have 80 happiness. Now, if your settlements are completely empty, the attract chance is 100%. See, if total population is zero, then the attract chance equals one, or in other words, 100%. This is why the 0.45 is equal to 45%, because here we see that 1.0 is equal to 100%. Now here's something I don't quite understand, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this entire workshop script and publish it to Pastebin or something like that and include a link in the description of this video. But what I think we see here is that in addition to everything we've just read, there's a dice roll added to that calculation. So the dice roll equals utility.randomfloat, which I believe is a 100-sided uh, dice. And then down here it says, if the dice roll is lesser than or equal to the attract chance, the total population is increased by one. This seems really weird to me. Why would it be lesser than or equal to, right? So let's say that our attract chance is 45%, like we calculated earlier. If we roll a 75, then we don't get the extra raider, but if we roll a 35, we do? That's weird. And it looks like the game is obeying these commands as well. So here I am on my Brotherhood of Steel character, and he's only got one charisma. He's not a an attractive guy. And uh, here are his settlements, and these are his raider settlements. You can see that this one only has 8 people, this one only has 10, uh, this one only has 11. And according to the code, my population max is going to be 10 plus my charisma. So 11 total for that particular character. This one's got 7, this one's got 11, this one's got 8, this one's got 9, and this one's got 10. So these are all of my raider settlements and they're, they're pretty much capped. Now since I set up these uh, raider outposts, I have done a lot of playing on this character. I've shot dozens of more videos, I've played through all of Far Harbor, and uh, it looks like none of my settlements, none of my raider outposts, are growing beyond 11. So what did we learn from all this? Well, I still have a few questions, but uh, we can answer our ultimate question here, which is, how can I reduce the number of raiders that are attracted to my settlements? By doing one of two things. First, don't assign any of your settlers. If every single raider that you get to your settlement is unassigned, then that settlement will permanently permanently be stuck at five settlers. That includes tribute chests, right? You shouldn't assign anyone to tribute chests. That includes uh, any of these chem stations and uh, brewery things. See, I've got this guy assigned to this distillery, and I would have to unassign him. So make sure that you don't assign any of your raiders to anything. That'll cap the settlement at five. The second way that we saw from the code is to get your happiness below 30. One of the greatest ways to increase your unhappiness at the settlement is to assign a raider to be a farmer. Let's see, if I remember correctly, it was uh, three times your food, and that equals the happiness penalty. So if you're producing 18 food, if you have three raiders assigned to produce food, they can each produce, produce six food, which means that they could be producing 18 food total. Multiply that times three, that's 54. So you're gonna be getting a negative 54 happiness penalty by simply assigning three raiders to farming. Ouch, that is quite a penalty. But that could significantly help you reduce your happiness overall to under 30. You could also augment this by putting all of your beds outside on the ground 
or by simply not having any beds at all and not having any water at all. Get your happiness beneath 30 and you should stop recruiting settlers. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I figured I'd shoot this quick video because Believe it or not, this is one of the questions that I get asked uh, on my quest on my uh, channel more than any other. Uh, apparently, there are a lot of people who are unhappy with the sheer number of settlers of raiders that get attracted to settlements. So, I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it, and let me know if you have any other questions about the code to Fallout 4 in regards to settlements or anything else that I could try to divine for you by opening up the code. Remember that I have the uh, Raider Nuka World Outpost code posted on Pastebin for you to enjoy. I'll link to it in the description of this video in case you want to check it out for yourself. Please subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to support me personally, consider becoming one of my supporters on Patreon. Patreon subscribers get access to my private Discord server and a bunch of other cool Oxhorn perks. But more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so glad you're here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.